switching your jobs while your STEM OPT is pending. Here is what you have to know before doing that. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Yale Eyes. So many of you have reached out to me on Instagram and also in the YouTube comments asking about what to do while we are switching jobs while your STEM OPT is pending. As you all know, like uh, you will get your OPT for 12 months. After that, you would have to switch your OPT to STEM OPT. You guys should understand that STEM OPT timelines have changed significantly. Previously, international students used to receive STEM OPT within like two months to three months of time period, but now they've significantly changed because of a lot of backlog that USICS have. So you have to understand at least it will take five to eight months of processing time. So here is the scenario: you're working for a company and uh, you have filed your STEM OPT with them. You have submitted your I-983 to your school DSO and you have filed I-765 with USICS. But now you got another job which you cannot miss, and you wanted to switch uh, jobs while your uh, STEM OPT is pending. So what you can do is uh, with a new employer fill an I-983 with them and uh, submit that to your DSO and after submitting inform USICS that your employer has changed uh, you can update in your service application so these are the steps to transition into your next role but however there are certain risks to do that like for example if USICS is trying to e-verify your employer and uh, they kind of uh, e-verify your previous employer rather than the current employer so there is a chance that your STEM OPT might get denied so before doing that I would like you to consult your BSO and uh, take their suggestions and also consult the immigration department from your next company to understand uh, what is it that they require and uh, can you make this change while your STEM OPT is pending. However, there is something which you can do which will help you to make this transition smoother. That is, change your I-765 to premium processing. So this will help you to receive your uh, STEM OPT in two to three weeks. Ideally, you don't have to submit your work authorization within like three days of joining. The new employer will take at least uh, two to four weeks of time to do, to do like background check and drug test, etc. During that time, you can change it to premium processing, get it approved in two to three weeks, use that uh, STEM OPT and uh, join the new employer by providing them your EAD card. Make sure that you fill your I-983 with them after joining. This is one of the way to avoid any risks and I can say this because one of my friends did this. Uh, they had the same scenario and it worked well for them. I hope I have provided you with the right information but always consult your International Student Services Department and your DSO before making any decisions. Thank you so much. Uh, hope you have a great day. If you like my content, please subscribe and uh, see you next time. Bye.